and welcome. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga, and thank you so much for joining me today. We have got a wonderful full hour class. We're going to get head to toe, but we're going to get a little extra love for the shoulders, for the hips, and for the lower back. I hope you feel it, and I hope it feels amazing. We're going to start in a seated position, however you wish. Sitting up nice and tall in a cross-legged position if that's okay for you and otherwise if you need to adjust and cross-legged doesn't feel super great. And as we sit up nice and tall, feel the length in your spine and just give those shoulders a good roll up and back and let those shoulders slide down and away. We'll see what we find along the way. Give those shoulders a good roll up and back and let those shoulders once again slide down and away. Close your eyes. Turn your palms to face the sky, drape the wrists over the knees, index finger and thumb, just gently touch. Big, full, deep breaths, in and out through the nose. Letting go of the rest of the world. We remind ourselves to keep a sense of humor, to let go of our egos, to just be present, to breathe, and to let go. Let's bring the hands to the shins just below the knees. We're going to make a big circle with the torso. You can open your eyes or you can keep them closed. Does not matter which direction you start. Just a slow, steady rotation like you're stirring a pot. We're just going to do a few rotations. How about the next time you come towards the front? Pause for just a second and then switch to the other direction. And just checking in. Still breathing slow and steady. If you have any of those points where you go, oh, there it is. Just be mindful. We'll see if we can get rid of it along the way. This time as you come forward, pause and just walk those hands forward. Releasing the weight of the upper body down. Let your arms be heavy. Mm, just getting that good stretch. Releasing in that lower back. But be nice. We're not bouncing. We're just gently surrendering in. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands forward another good step and then release the weight of your upper body back down. We lift just slightly and walk those hands to the right, reaching through your left fingertips just as far as you can reach. Get that long stretch through the ribs and the waist. Circling that left arm up and over, opening the tummy and chest. You're welcome to come down onto your forearm or remain up on your hand. Rolling that right shoulder or that left shoulder back, turn and look up along the inside of that left arm. Stretching all the way down that left side, a little push of that left sit bone down. We turn our gaze down towards the mat and circle that left arm around behind the back, forearm along the small of the back. A little roll of that left shoulder back and away and tuck your chin towards your chest. Just taking a moment to feel all the feels in the stretch. Circling that left arm back up and over. And exhale, release your tummy and chest down towards your thigh. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk those hands back through center. Fingertips reaching out. Checking in. Always amazes me, even just with that one little move off to the side and coming back through center, that it can actually let go of some of the tension already. Hopefully you're feeling that. We lift just slightly and walk those hands to the left, reaching through your right fingertips. Just that nice long stretch to the ribs and the waist. Let's take that right arm up and over. 
opening the tummy and chest. And again, you can remain up on your hand or come down onto your forearm. Just keep that right sit bone glued down towards the earth. Little roll of that right shoulder back. We're looking up. And breathe. Close your eyes. Turn your gaze down towards the ground and circle that right arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back, a little roll of that right shoulder back and away. As we tuck our chin towards that collarbone, just a nice little stretch to the neck, into the shoulder. We circle that right arm back up and over. And exhale, release your tummy and chest down towards your thigh. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through center, fingertips reaching out as far as you can reach and let your head be heavy. Inhale, circle your hands back by your hips, big circle of the arms up and overhead, reach to the sky. Exhale, pull those elbows back and down, lift your chest, gaze upward, squeeze through those shoulder blades. Inhale, reach it up and exhale, release that right hand down, left arm up and over, just a gentle sway, right and left, inhaling it up, and exhale, other side. Inhale, reach it up, turn your palms to face front, and exhale, pull those elbows back and down, squeeze through those shoulder blades. Inhale, reach it up, and release your hands down by your sides, press your palms down towards the ground, and as you exhale, tuck your chin towards your chest. Roll your head to the right, right ear over the right shoulder. And press your left palm down towards the ground. Relax your jaw, close your eyes. Exhaling, releasing your chin down towards your chest. And then roll it to the left, left ear over the left shoulder. Right palm presses down towards the ground. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Just feel that long stretch through the neck. Be nice. Releasing the chin back down towards the chest. Roll those shoulders up and back. Press your palms towards the floor. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And let's extend that right leg off to the side. Left foot stays tucked in. Reach to the sky. Flex that right foot. Turn towards that right leg. Be kind and reach it out. If you need to walk those hands out, walk it out. If you can lengthen and reach with those fingertips, lengthen and reach. Release your hands and relax the weight of your head. So we want to stay kind of like at a five or a six on the intensity scale here. We're not going to go too crazy too quickly. Just a nice stretch in that left hip, down that right side, the back of the leg, into that lower back, particularly on that left side. And then slowly walk those hands back up. Sitting up nice and tall and switch. Left leg goes out, right leg tucks in. We turn towards the leg. Inhale, reach to the sky. Hands can pass through heart center and walk it out or lengthen and reach. Release your hands and relax the weight of your head down. Be nice. Checking in. And let's slowly walk it back up. And we sit cross-legged now with that other leg in front. So if now all of a sudden you're back where you started, just switch the other leg in front, pressing your palms down towards the ground, crown of the head to the sky. As you exhale, release your chin down towards your chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And as you exhale, look out over your right shoulder, far as you can look without turning those shoulders or twisting the torso. A gentle tuck of your chin down towards your right collarbone. Keep pressing those palms to the ground. Keep that length in the spine. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Turn your gaze back through center and that out over that left shoulder. Far as you can turn your head. 
A little tuck of your chin. Pressing the palms down towards the ground. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Turn your gaze back towards front. Reach to the sky. Interlace the fingers. Press your palms up. And as you exhale, lean to the left. Mm, that feels pretty darn good. Rolling that right shoulder back. Turning your gaze up. And breathe. Inhale it up nice and tall and exhale, lean to the right, pressing through that left palm, a little roll of that left shoulder back and we turn our gaze upward. Feeling those obliques working to keep us steady. That long stretch to the ribs and the waist. Inhale it back up. And as you exhale, lower your hands to shoulder height. Take a big breath in and exhale, press your palms forward, spine back, tuck your chin, hollowing out the tummy and chest. Inhale, lift that spine, lift those arms, and as you exhale, release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale and release that right hand down, left arm up and over. Glue that left sit bone to the mat. Gently release your tummy and chest down towards your thigh. Just breathe, checking in. Rolling it back open, left arm up and over. And inhale, reach, both arms come up. Exhale, lengthen and hinge it forward. If you need the support of the hands, walk those hands out. Release your hands and let your upper body be heavy. How's it feel with the other leg in front? Again, just giving some love into that lower back, into the hips. Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips. Big circle those arms up and overhead. And exhale, release that left hand down, right arm up. And over, glue that right sit bone to the ground. As you exhale, release the tummy and chest down towards your thigh. Reach it out through those right fingertips. Once again, we roll it back open and rise. Both arms reach up. As you exhale, turn to the right, left hand to the top of the thigh, right hand behind you. Sit up as tall as you can sit and turn and look out over your right shoulder. Left shoulder presses down and away. Inhale, reach to the sky, turn back to face front. As you exhale, cactus arms, pull those elbows back and down. We're going to do that twice. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, pull it down. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, we rotate to the left, right hand to the top of the thigh, left hand behind you, sit up as tall as you can sit. And turn and look out over that back shoulder. A little press of that right shoulder down and away and just feel that stretch through the neck. Inhale, reach to the sky, turn it back to face front. And exhale, release your hands down by your side. Let's kick both feet out nice and wide, nothing crazy. Just a wide stance, flex your feet, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, sweep that right arm down, left arm up. And we're just going to sway side to side, making this as big of a motion as you like. Take it up through center and then switch left arm in front, right arm up and over. Just take it at your pace. So working those obliques a little bit, keeping those core muscles strong, we go side to side. Again, we want this to be like a five or a six on the intensity scale, so nothing crazy. Still just warming up that body. Let's do that one more time each side. Uh, that lateral movement for the spine, just keeping that independent movement of each vertebra so important, you guys. And then we come back through center, open those arms out to a T. As you exhale, pull that left elbow back three times, rotating once, twice, three times, and come back to center. Now that right elbow, rotate three times, and then back to center. Think of a sprinkler. As you exhale, pull, 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 and inhale back to center. Other side, 
Just little twists, waking up through the torso one more time each side. Staying tall through the spine and just move with your breath. A little work for those shoulders and release it down. Let's bring those feet together and come up onto all fours. Giving yourself plenty of room towards the top of your mat. Just kind of centering yourself, center of the mat. Hands are shoulder width apart. Knees are hip width, core is nice and strong. Let's take a big breath in and come to cow pose. Tummy down towards the ground. Lift your gaze and your sit bones. As you exhale, hollow your tummy and chest. Lift your spine, tuck your chin to cat. Inhaling it back to cow. And exhale it to cat. Now, if the wrists are not loving this, you can always be down onto your forearms or you can be up on fists. Just move in a way that feels good to your body. We don't want to aggravate anything, particularly if it's already not super happy. Coming back to neutral, sit your sit bones back towards your heels and walk your hands towards the top of your mat. We come to child's pose. Breathe. Now you are welcome to put a pillow or a block or something um, behind those knees if the knees are needing a little love. You're welcome to put a block underneath your forehead. If you want a little extra stretch and you have two blocks, you can put blocks underneath your hands to lift the hands a little bit. That's going to give you a deeper stretch into your shoulders. I just want you to find this, this pose pretty relaxing as best you can. So you can just surrender in here and check in. This is always a great place to come back to whenever you need a little break. As is just grabbing a drink of water. Arms extended out nice and long. Hands shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers wide. Let's lift the forehead. Tuck the toes. Press and lift your hips to the sky. We come up to our downward facing dog. So visualize an inverted V here. Really working to get the bend out of the wrists, first and foremost. Lengthening that spine. And then feeling that stretched on the backs of the legs. So oftentimes people kind of get stuck and they need to get their heels to the ground. You don't. What we want is to create that long line from fingertips to sit bones. Again, that long spine. The added bonus is that wonderful hamstring and calf stretch. Let's inhale it to high plank or high push-up position. You don't have to. You can just stay in your down dog. And then exhale back to down dog. Let's do that two more times. Inhaling it to high plank. Exhaling it to down dog. One more time, inhaling it to high plank. And exhaling it to down dog. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot to the outside of your right hand. Toes are slightly turned open and we let those hips be heavy. Sinking into our stretch for the hip flexors and for that right hip. Shift your weight to your left hand. Right arm extends to the sky. Reach it up. High as you can reach. Feels good to you. Circle that right arm around behind your back. Forearm along the small of the back. Nestle the back of the hand against the outer hip. And use that as an anchor to help rotate a little deeper. Breathe. Close your eyes if you like. Anytime. And just check in. We once again extend that right arm to the sky and then exhale, release that right hand down. Step it back to plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips to down dog. And let's alternate bending knees. Walk it out. Heads heavy, face soft. As you exhale at both heels, sink. And we shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot to the outside of your left hand. Toes are slightly turned off and let those hips be heavy. Just stretching, feeling that amazing stretch in the hip, groin. Those hip flexors, shift your weight to your right hand. Left arm extends to the sky, reach it up. 
high as you can. Lengthen out of the shoulders up to the tips of your fingers. If it feels right to you, circle that left arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back, back of the hand to the outside of your hip or to the small of your back, anchor it and use that anchor to help rotate a little bit more. Looking up, reaching that left arm up, exhale, release that hand down to the inside of your foot, step it back to plank, toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips to down dog. Again, we work to get the bend out of the wrists as much as we can. You can always come down onto your forearms if being up on the hands isn't great. Taking the gaze between your hands, we walk our feet in to forward fold. Let your upper body be heavy. Let your head be heavy. Let's bring the hands to the elbows and hold on. Forearms or elbows. And then sway side to side. Coming back to center, keep a hold of those elbows and shift your weight forward into your toes. And then shift your weight back towards your heels. Maybe lift your toes. Shift your weight forward once again into those toes. And then again back towards your heels. Centering your weight. Relax your arms. And slowly let's ragdoll it up. Stack in each vertebra, rolling it up. One at a time, head heavy, arms heavy. Uh, at the top, give those shoulders a good roll up and back and let those shoulders slide down and away. Do that again, big shoulder roll. Take it up and back and let those shoulders slide down and away. Inhale, reach to the sky. As you exhale, right arm goes forward, left arm goes back, big circle. And we reach back to the top. Now again, left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. Big circle, all the way back up. Turn your palms to face front. Exhale, pull those elbows back and down. Cactus arms. Inhale, reach it up. Interlace your fingers. Turn your palms to the sky. And as you exhale, lean to the right. Press your hips to the left. Turn your gaze up. Inhale it up nice and tall. And exhale, we lean to the right, or I'm sorry, to the left, pressing those hips to the right, pressing through that right palm. Inhaling it back up and pull those hands to heart center. Bring your big toes to touch, little space between your heels, and let's sit to chair. Weights in the heels, chest is lifted, core is strong, little pulses in our chair. Core stays engaged, crown of the head stays pointing to the sky, and we just a little lower and lifts, firing up those legs. Two more. Stay low in your chair. If it feels right to you, extend those arms overhead. If the shoulders or neck are saying no thank you today, keep those hands at heart center. As you exhale, sweep the arms forward, straighten the legs, bring your hands behind your back. Let your head be heavy and forward fold. Soft bend in those knees. Big toes are still touching, so what do you notice? A little different stretch in the hips, the outer calves. Breathe. If it feels right to you, roll those shoulders up and back. Lift your hands towards the sky. A little tuck of your chin towards your chest. You can let those palms separate, or you can keep them touching. If the shoulders are a little tighter and you happen to have your strap, if you happen to have a towel, take a hold of that in each hand, slowly bringing the hands to the small of the back. Gently release those arms, let them hang. And ever so slowly, ragdoll it up. Arms are heavy, head's heavy. Big shoulder roll at the top. 
and shoulders slide down and away. Close those heels so now the feet are side by side. Inhale, reach to the sky. As you exhale, left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. Big circle. We reach to the top. Right arm goes forward, left arm goes back. Big circle. Just working that mobility through the shoulders. Interlace your fingers at the top, all but the index finger and thumb. And as you exhale, arch it back. A little or a lot. Let your arms be heavy. Stretch in through the belly. Squeeze those buns. Squeeze those inner thighs. Inhale, we rise. And as you exhale, lean to the right. Hips to the left. Use that right hand to pull that left arm. Oh, huge stretch on that left side. Inhaling it up nice and tall. And exhale, lean to the left. Hips to the right. Use that left hand to pull that right arm. Inhaling it up nice and tall, pull the hands to heart center, shifting your weight to your left foot. Right knee lifts to 90 degrees and flex your foot. Extending those arms out to a T. And if it feels good to you, start to extend that right leg. Lengthening that right leg, getting the leg as long and as high as you're able without leaning back. Once again, bend that right knee, pull the hands to heart center, and we begin to press that right foot straight back as we hinge forward to warrior three. Pelvis is level. We press through that right heel, core strong. If you like, hands can remain at heart center, or you can open those arms out to a T. Bending that left leg, giant step back to warrior one. Pelvis is facing front. We're in a nice deep lunge, back leg long and strong. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And exhale, sink. Circle the arms around behind your back. Interlace your fingers all but the index finger and thumb. Roll those shoulders back. Core staying strong, we begin to exhale and surrender forward. Tummy and chest coming along the inside of that left leg. We take our gaze towards our back big toe. Humble warrior. If the shoulders feel up to it, roll those shoulders up and back. Lift your hands towards the sky. And breathe. We bring the hands to the small of the back, core strong. We lengthen through the crown of the head and rise. As you exhale, arch it back. Reach your index fingers towards your back heel. Gaze to the sky. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Circle those arms up and overhead. Flow forward, hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down. To down dog, holding your down dog, grabbing a drink of water or inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, three push-ups, slow and steady. You can just hold your plank. You can come to down dog. You can come to child's pose. You can do one push-up. You can do all three. You can do five, whatever you need to do. Lift your hips to down dog and we meet back in down dog whenever you're ready and just sway those hips side to side core strong big full deep breaths checking in again getting the bend out of the wrists we're going to lift those sit bones high and just feel that stretch through the spine and through the backs of the legs coming back to center taking a gaze between your hands and walk your feet in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale reverse swan dive up. Exhale left hand down, right arm high, lean in and reach. Take your gaze up to find the base of your thumb. Inhale both arms come up. And exhale other side, lean in and reach. Take your gaze up. Can you find the base of your thumb? Inhale, both arms come up. Pull the hands to heart center and shift your weight to your right foot. 
Left knee lifts to 90 degrees and flex your foot. Solid, strong, rooted into the earth with that right foot. Arms extending out to a T. And we begin to extend that left leg if you like. Again, we're working to get that left leg as long and as high as we can. Can you feel that left quadricep, your thigh? Bending that left knee once again, pull those hands to heart center. And let's press that left foot straight back as we hinge forward into our warrior three, working to square the pelvis, finding that breath, flexing that left foot and press through the heel. You can extend those arms out to a T if you like. Breathe. Bending that right knee, giant step back to our warrior one. Pelvis is facing front. Chest is tall, shoulders soft, back leg long and strong. We circle the arms around behind the back, interlacing the fingers, all but the index finger and thumb. Roll those shoulders and extend. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, begin to hinge it forward. Tummy and chest coming along the inside of that right leg. We take our gaze towards our left big toe. Rolling those shoulders up and back, lift your hands towards the sky. Our humble warrior. Breathe. Slowly bringing the hands to the small of the back, lengthening through the crown of the head, we rise. And as you exhale, arch it back. Reach your index fingers towards that back heel, gaze up. Inhaling it up nice and tall, circle those arms up and overhead. Flow forward hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Holding your down dog, grabbing a drink of water, or inhale it to high plank. Let's go super slow, just one. Ever so slowly bending those elbows, lowering down. Breathe. Nice. Press it through up dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips to down dog. Adding a little tip of the pelvis, reaching your sit bones high. Just breathe. At the end of your exhale, take the gaze between your hands. Walk, step, or hop to forward fold. Let your head be heavy. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Let's flip the back of the hands to the mat on either side of your foot or either side of your feet. And then gently begin to lift through the upper body, lengthening through the crown of the head, pressing the back of the hands into the mat. A variation of our gorilla pose. Just gazing forward towards the top center of your mat. A little lean back into your heels. If you can lift your toes, lift your toes. If that's not great for your wrist, don't go quite so far back. And then slowly shift your weight forward. Gently release the weight of the upper body down. Flip those hands over and shift your weight back to your heels. Ever so slowly begin to bend your knees. We're going to lower down into a tight little ball. Whatever your ball means. Your heels might be off the mat. If your heels can stay on, great. Let's cross those arms across the shins and a little tuck of the chin towards the chest. Releasing the back hand and crossing it over the front. So just the other arms in front. Big, full, deep breaths as we fill those lungs. A nice little stretch across your back. Release your hands. Shift your weight a little bit forward. Just even out that weight. And then slowly extend the legs. All the way back up to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. 
Inhale, reverse, one dive up. And as you exhale, take a giant step, opening out to the side, arms open out to a T. Rotate palms to the sky, inhale, reach to the sky, pull the hands to heart center and sink into those legs to goddess pose. Shoulders are soft, finding your breath, core is engaged. Let's alternate lifting a heel. Does not matter which one lifts first, whatever feels right to you. Just alternating lifting. And breathe. Slow your breath. Thankful for those beautiful, strong legs and all the things we can do. Let's release both heels down. Find a focal point out in front of you and then lift both heels. You can keep the heels down. You don't have to lift them. You can keep with that alternating if you like. Gently release the heels. Interlace your fingers. Press your palms out. We rise, lifting the arms, extending those legs. And as you exhale, lean to the left, pressing through that right palm, long stretch down that right side. Turn your gaze along the inside of that right arm. Inhaling it up and exhaling to the right, pressing through that left palm, turning your gaze along the inside of that left arm. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Open those arms out to a T. As you exhale, roll that right shoulder forward. Turn and look out over your left arm. Inhale it back to center. And exhale, roll that left shoulder forward. Turn and look out over the right arm. Inhale it back to center one more time each side. Roll that right shoulder forward. Look out over your left. And roll it back to center one more time for the left. Roll it forward. Look out over your right arm. And roll it back. Reach to the sky. And exhale. Circle the arms around behind your back. Interlace your fingers once again. Roll those shoulders. Lengthen the arms. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, arch it back. Reach your knuckles towards the ground. Lift your gaze up. Opening the chest. Stretching through the belly. Inhale it up nice and tall, core strong. Heel toe your feet in once and then hinge it forward. Nice and slow. As we hinge forward, let the upper body be heavy. Hands are just resting on the small of the back. If it feels right to you, roll those shoulders and then lift those hands towards the sky, allowing the arms to be heavy. Again, palms can separate where those palms can remain together. You can use that towel or strap. Shift your weight forward into those toes. And breathe. Centering your weight, bringing the hands to the small of the back. And then slowly releasing those hands down the backs of the legs. Take a hold of your ankles and use the strength of the arms to pull that upper body towards the space between your legs. A little shift of your weight forward into your toes. And then back towards your heels. Let your hands be heavy. Arms be heavy. Shift your weight to your heels. Core strong. Begin to bend your knees as you begin to lift the upper body. Nice flat back as we lower down into our frog pose. Crown of the head pointing straight ahead. Tailbone pointing straight back. Hands are there for support as much as you need them. Breathe. Now you might need to adjust the width of your stance. That's fine. If it feels good to you, lower those hips, lift the chest, hands coming to heart center. So again, you can narrow your stance if you need to. You can widen it if you need to. If your hips are like, mm, not today, give them a little love, come back to that frog or just extend those legs. Let's shift our weight side to side. So just kind of moving in that figure eight or just side to side. Give a little love into those hips. So we're going to add some movement here, guys, regardless of if you're in frog or if you want to stay in garland, you can stay in garland. We come back to center, release your hands, lift your hips just slightly. And then we're going to reach that right knee down and tap and then open it back up. And then that left knee is going to come down and tap and open it back up. So we're gonna kind of stay in our frog pose. Bottom might come a little bit lower and then open it back up one more time. Left, little tap and open it back up. Slowly extend those legs. So that little internal rotation for the hips, that can be pretty intense. As we extend back up, 
Arms are heavy, head's heavy, legs are long. Our wide-legged forward folds. Again, take a hold of the ankles and use the strength of the arms to pull that upper body towards the space between your legs. And breathe. Releasing the arms, and ever so slowly, ragged all your way up. Arms are heavy, head's heavy. And a big shoulder roll at the top. Shoulders slide down and away. Let's turn and step towards the top of the mat. We come to mountain. Inhale, reach. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips to down dog. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right knee through, foot to the inside to pigeon pose. Now, if you're taking special care of that right knee, come over onto your hip and pull that back leg into a letter Z so you take the pressure off of that right knee. Otherwise, Nice and tall through the chest or walking it out to sleeping pigeon. We're going to add a little quad stretch here only if you like. Right hand to the outside of the right knee, left arm extends out and circles it around. We draw our back foot in, taking a hold of it and drawing your heel in towards your bottom. Now, as you take a hold along the inside or the arch of your foot, this affords us a nice little stretch to the front of that left shoulder. Turning your gaze forward, if you like, extend right arm out and up. Looking up, just following the line of your arm. Breathe. Releasing that right hand down. Gently releasing your foot, circling that left arm up and over. Let's walk it forward to sleeping pigeon. Either extending those arms out nice and long or stacking your hands and resting the forehead. Let your upper body be heavy. And slowly walk those hands back up. Hand on either side of your knee. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend right leg to the sky. Add a flex of your foot and a bend of your knee and draw your heel towards your bottom. Once again, extending that right leg and gently release it down, holding your down dog or inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left knee through, foot to the inside to pigeon. And again, if you're taking special care of that left knee, come over onto your hip. Otherwise, that right leg stays long. And just breathe. Chest can be lifted or you're welcome to walk yourself out to sleeping pigeon at this point. We'll meet you there in a sec. Adding that quad stretch if you like. Left hand to the outside of the left knee. Right arm circles up and around. We draw that back foot in. Taking a hold of it and drawing your heel in towards your bum as much as you like. And again, as you take a hold along the inside of your foot, Nice stretch through the front of that right shoulder. We turn our gaze forward, and if it feels good to you, left arm extends out, maybe lifts, following our gaze along with that arm. Breathe. And gently releasing that left hand down, releasing that right foot, circling it up and over. We walk our hands forward. Again, you can extend those arms out long, or you can stack your hands, and we just relax the weight of the upper body down. If you need to adjust those legs, adjust them. 
If your knee is saying, hmm, this isn't great for me, again, come over onto that left sit bone, pull that right knee and get that pressure off of that left knee. Always doing our best to be kind to our body and to give it what it needs. Slowly we walk those hands back up, one hand on either side of the knee, tuck the back toes, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky, add a flex of your foot, and a bend of that left knee, draw your heel towards your bum. Once again, extending that left leg and gently releasing it down to down dog. Let's alternate bending knees, walk it out. Just allowing that pelvis to shift as those knees alternatively bend. Checking in with our breath. I'm just noticing, hopefully, a pretty substantial change in the intensity. A little less intense of a stretch on the backs of the legs. A greater mobility and just feeling good. As you exhale, let both heels sink. We inhale it to high plank. Super slow. Let's take it all the way down onto our tummies. And untuck those toes. Extending right arm out to a T. Left hand remains right up by your chest. Lifting that left leg. We roll to the right side. Bending that left knee. Placing the foot behind us. And then just let that right side of the head rest to the mat. Stretching through the front of the shoulder into the spine. Nice deep breaths. And slowly we roll it back to center. Extending that left arm out to a T. Right hand just in by your chest. We lift that right leg. Roll to the left side. Bending that right knee, right foot behind us. And just a gentle press with that right hand. Mm, good full deep breaths. And slowly we roll it back to center. Hands right by your chest. Press it back to child's pose. Sit bones back towards your heels, forehead towards the mat, arms long. Inhale, we begin to rise, pulling those hands back underneath the shoulders to tabletop. Let's extend that right leg straight out to the side. Shifting our weight to our right hand, left arm extends up, reach it as high as you can reach. And then as you exhale, sweep that left hand through, reaching out, rotating and extending, right arm up as high as you can reach. Find your breath. If it feels right to you, allow that right arm to open out to the side. Just letting that right arm be as heavy as possible. Doing our best to bring both shoulder blades to the mat. Probably not going to happen today. Just feeling that good stretch. Inhale, lifting that right arm back to the sky. Slowly release your hand down and press it back up to tabletop. Pulling that right knee back in. Left leg extends straight out to the side. We shift our weight to our left hand, right arm reaching up, high as you can reach. And as you exhale, sweep that right hand through. And then rotate and reach, left arm up. How high can you reach? How long can you make that arm? And if it feels right to you, now begin to allow that right arm to open out to the side. Letting those arms be heavy, working to get the shoulder blades towards the mat. Flexibility in that spine and the shoulder. Inner thigh, hips, a whole lot of stuff happening here, guys. 
Keep a sense of humor. Inhale, lift that left arm to the sky. Slowly release your hand down and press it back up to tabletop. Pulling your left knee back in. Let's take a giant step forward with each hand. Now we're going to press the chest and the armpits towards the mat as we lift our sit bones towards the sky. Chin, cheek, or forehead to the mat for puppy pose. Beautiful stretch for the shoulders. Make sure you're breathing slow and steady. And then slowly walk those hands back underneath those shoulders. Come over onto one hip. Sweep your feet around. And let's slide on down towards the top of the mat. Extending the legs out long. Flex your feet. Reach to the sky. And exhale, lengthen. Hinge it forward. Release your hands. And relax the weight of your head. Just a really nice long stretch down the backs of the legs into that lower back. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release your hands down by your sides. Let's cross that right leg up and over the left and then wrap the crook of that left elbow around the knee. Sit up as tall as you can. Place that right hand behind you, propping yourself up. And then turn and look out over your right shoulder. Big, full, deep breaths. If it feels good to you, place that left elbow to the top of the right knee and press a little harder for a little deeper rotation. And then gently release that rotation. Turn back to face front. Extend that right leg out. Left foot crosses up and over. Wrapping the crook of that right elbow around the knee. Pull it in nice and tight. Sit up tall. We place that left hand behind us, propping us up even taller. Turn and look out over your left shoulder. Breathe. If you like, right elbow to that left knee. Press against the knee for a deeper rotation. Just make sure you're breathing, not holding your breath. And then gently release that rotation, turning back to face front. Flex your feet, reach to the sky. Again, lengthen and hinge it forward. Hands come down, nose towards your knee. And just breathe. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Soften your feet. Lower those arms to shoulder height. And ever so slowly, roll it back. One vertebra at a time coming back to the mat. And relax. Extending those arms out to a T. We pull one knee in towards the chest and then the other. Just let those knees be heavy coming towards your tummy. Just feel that release in that lower back. And then gently pull those knees out and away from you just a little bit, stacking the knees over those hips. We slowly release the knees to the left as low as you can without lifting that right shoulder blade and then come back through to center and then take it to the right low as you like keeping both shoulder blades against the mat and back through to center strengthening those obliques and working the flexibility of the spine again take it to the left and back through center and one more time to the right just keeping those knees right in line with the hips. And back through center. Placing your right foot to the mat and then your left feet are hip width apart. Heels are right up by your bum. Bring your hands down by your hips. A little pelvic tilt so the small of the back presses into the mat and begin to lift your hips towards the sky. Peeling your spine off the mat one vertebra at a time. 
We come up to bridge pose, squeezing your bonds, lifting those hips, chin towards chest. Bringing the hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers, working to extend those arms. If you like, roll the shoulders underneath you, lifting those hips even higher, squeeze your buns. Big, full, deep breaths. Releasing your hands, unrolling one shoulder and then the other, and then ever so slowly coming back down one vertebra at a time. Till your bottom is the very last to touch. And let's extend that left leg out. Let it relax. Pull your right knee in. Right arm extends out to a T, left hand to the outside of the right knee. And just gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders against the floor. Turn and look out over your right arm. And just close your eyes. Releasing that left hand, slowly we roll it back to center. Extending right leg to the sky, point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through that hip, and slowly lower your leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Left knee pulls in, left arm extends out to a T, right hand to the outside of the left knee, and gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders against the mat, turn and take your gaze out over that left arm. So hopefully we've let go of a ton of tension and tightness along the way. And this is just kind of that final little cherry on top. Bringing out any last little bit. Let your breath be slow and steady. Gently releasing that right hand, rolling back to center. Extending left leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through that hip, and slowly lower your leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Taking a moment, bringing your hands down by your sides. Let's open the palms to the sky. For the giving and receiving of loving energy that we might need to replenish. Any that we've given away so freely. Oftentimes, we give and forget to replenish. This time on our mat, in particular this time in Shavasana, is an opportunity to step away, to travel inward, to refuel, to re-energize and recharge Allow yourself stillness to feel a sense of calm and to be present in each and every breath you take. There is strength and awareness and power, love and energy within each breath. Soak it in. And then gently turn your palms against the earth. When we get super busy in life, sometimes feeling a little scatterbrained, 
hard to keep focused or to feel grounded. As we do our work on our mat, this helps us to feel centered and grounded, to bring focus to our life, to let go of the things that aren't ours to hold on to, or the things that we really have no control over. Let them go. Feel solid in who you are. Embrace where you are in life. Feel rooted in with the solid people around you. Safe. Now gently bring your hands to rest on your tummy, one hand just below your belly button, one just below your sternum. And feel the rise and fall of your tummy, your chest with each breath. Each amazing breath. Celebrating life. being present in each and every day, soaking in the moments, celebrating the friendships, the loves, the opportunities to be together, whether they're virtual or in person. Feel the love within you, the strength, within you. Relax and just breathe. With our breath slow and steady, we allow the mind to begin to bring our awareness back to the world around us. As we remain still, quiet, calm, and comfortable, I share these words with you that you are welcome to take with you or let them float on by. Do the things you love more often. Treat yourself the way you would treat someone you love. Spend more time around people who uplift you. Choose what's best for you. It's okay to still be figuring things out. Enjoy small moments. They are so important. As you're ready, start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Maybe take your arms overhead, stretching your arms, stretching your legs, moving the ankles, the wrists. Just taking a moment, checking in with the body. Taking the time you need as you're ready, however you wish, coming back up to a seated position that feels good to you. With our eyes closed, we take big, full, steady, deep breaths. As we bring our very best version to ourselves today, out into the world. Let's gently open the eyes. Take a big breath in, reach to the sky. And exhale, pull your hands to heart center. Thank you so, so, so much for being here today. Take care of yourselves. Be well. As always, you guys, light, love, and namaste.